We're getting sheep. Hey everybody, welcome to the Happy Harvest Homestead. I am now the proud owner of four adult, purebred, registered baby doll sheep. Getting these sheep onto our farm has been a whole process. It has taken us over a month from deciding we wanted these sheep to actually bringing them home. Part of the reason it took so long is because they were in Tennessee. When we were searching Craigslist for available sheep, obviously we were looking in our area, which is southwest Missouri, but the Craigslist website had a glitch and happened to show us these sheep which were way too far away. I believe it's about a 7 hour drive one way, so that's 14 hours total, which is way more than the maybe hour or two we were hoping for. But there really weren't any high quality adult baby dolls for sale in our area at all. They were all far away. And these guys were so perfect that after thinking it over and working it out with the seller, we decided to make the trip. We ended up driving to Nashville and spending the night with some relatives. Then the next morning, driving from Nashville an hour or so to pick up the sheep at their farm and then made the trip back and arrived home at about one in the morning. But it's been a couple days now, and I've had a chance to catch my breath, as well as the sheep. When we first got them, they were extremely skittish, and they still are kind of wary of us, but I've been working hard to make friends with them, and they are now much friendlier and much fatter. <laughs> they are getting so many treats. So by this point in the video, you may be wondering why we chose this age and this breed and these very expensive registered sheep. And, well, since you brought up the question, I guess I can give you an answer. Basically, these sheep will be dual purpose. Number one, they will be breeders that will make, birth, and raise very high quality expensive baby baby doll sheep, like young ones. And then we can sell those young sheep for lots of money and make a little sheep business out of it. The one upside with having no baby dolls for sale in our area means that we can kind of corner the market and provide high quality registered baby dolls to people around here who don't want to drive seven hours to Tennessee to pick some up. So that is why we chose the baby doll breed and investing in high quality breeding stock instead of just, you know, buying a couple of unregistered weathers. But the reason we want any sheep in the first place is for their wool. Though currently, I don't find much time to pursue this passion. I love the fiber arts. I am an avid crocheter and spinner. I have my own spinning wheel. And for a while, I've been raising Angora rabbits with long fur that I can shave off and spin. But we've decided we want to finally upgrade from Angora rabbits to actual sheep who produce actual sheep's wool that we can actually shear 
with our own super awesome antique shears that we found in an adorable little market and actually harvest our own wool from our own sheep and spin it on our own spinning wheel and then make clothes all by ourselves with all of our own stuff. Oh, I'm just so excited. While Angora fiber is definitely better than nothing, there are several problems with it, like how you have to groom them all the time and how the final product, the yarn you make, or the clothes you make will shed everywhere because the fiber doesn't stick together very well, and how extremely, extremely warm it is, so you end up sweating in your mittens or your socks instead of just staying toasty warm. So from my research, it sounds like baby doll wool is pretty good. They were supposed to be miniature sheep, which I guess some of them are, but the ram we have... I don't know what that testosterone is doing to his body, but he is massive. I'm actually kind of scared of him. He's humongous. I mean, I've seen some big Nigerian dwarf goats. I mean, if you look at Tessa, you would say she's definitely a big Nigerian dwarf. But this ram is in a whole other category. He's humongous. But thankfully, all the ewes are more normal size. Though we still do have a big mama ewe who is very, very fat. These sheep were pets before we bought them. So they have been very well fed on treats and lavished with love. So I may have to work a little bit to get them back down to their proper weight. Even though I'm not doing a very good job right now because we're feeding them lots of treats to make them like us. Okay, so you've seen the sheep. You saw our trip going to get the sheep and our trip coming back. You know why we have sheep and why we chose this breed. I think that's everything you need to know. I haven't really decided for sure on names. Of course, they do come with names on their pedigree thing, but I don't like those names, so I'm changing them. For now, I'm thinking that the ram will be Podo. The big mama you will be Belle or Bella or something. The smallest white you will be Camilla. And then maybe our little black girl will be Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed my travel montage. I had a great time making it and syncing all the pictures with the beats and stuff. I thought it was pretty cool. Y'all can now look forward to many, many, many videos of these sheep and these sheep's children and grandchildren. And we may eventually get more sheep and ugh, we're just going to be sheep crazy here pretty soon. I am so excited and hopefully you are too. Thanks again for watching. Bye.